Hi, I am Alicia and today I am finally recording my voice for a tutorial. You probably hear that English is not my mother language and you're right. I don't speak English very well but I thought it's enough to make a tutorial so today we are going to make an illustration on Illustrator and then on Photoshop. So, if you want to know how to do it, keep on watching! First, I want to show you how to make a good brush. So, you have to go to your brushes, make a new brush, choose a calligraphic one and the size. Um, you have to choose pressure and the variation just as big as the brush is, so it will be just enough. Um, changing your lines in Illustrator is a little bit different than uh, in Photoshop, because you have to change the position of the points in your lines. Um, it may sound um, a little difficult, but it's not at all. With the letter V on your keyboard, you can move the whole lines that you have made. And with letter A on your keyboard, you can move a single point to the position that you just want it to be. I will slow my video a little bit down so you can see how I select a single point and then move it to the right position. And now you can see on my two panel that I am using a path minus, it's a minus on your keyboard, to delete a point that already exists. And I also change the, change the position of the line and draw another one that will look better than the previous one. When I am painting lines on Illustrator, I always try to use the pen pressure as much as I can to make the lines look much smoother, which also makes the whole picture look better. When I am done with the Illustrator, I will just select all of those lines and copy and paste into the Photoshop. It sounds really easy and it is really easy. The only thing you have to do is to choose which option you want to paste that in Photoshop. You have, I guess, five options and I will show you all of those Oh, there are four options, yeah, four options, and I will show you all of those, uh, what it will look like when you try them all. And I personally think that just the pixel, pixel option is the best one. And now we will be adding some colors to the illustration. First, you have to make every time you draw a part of your illustration, you have to add a layer. It's the best way to do it, at least what I think, because just like hair is another layer. The skin of that girl in the illustration is also another layer. Skin of the boy is also, and his shirt. The shirt is on the same layer, I guess. Yes, they are on the same layer, his hair and his shirt, but as you can see, they are apart from each other, they don't touch each other, so you can still easily edit them without any extra effort. And when you have filled your illustration with the basic colors, you can now select the filled area of your layer with option select, load selection and then OK. 
you will see then that your um, your layer is totally selected and you can't go outside the lines of of your layer so when you use a big brush like me i used a big soft brush for her cheeks and the shadows and the highlights on her face it just didn't go outside the lines and it is so handy to be able to do that <laughs> because i always uh, was struggling in the beginning of my little art career <laughs> that i i have to hold on the lines all the time but you can just select your layer and you can't go outside the lines um, well i just go on with the shadows and with the highlights and the colors of um, my illustration um, it is not really difficult to do that just how i am doing it um, i kind of try to mix the soft shadows and the hard shadows like you, you can see on the face on the, the cheekbones and uh, the chin that there is a hard shadow but uh, on her eyes there is a soft shadow and I always like a little um, mix of those two I don't know why but I just like how it looks so I do it like that all the time and now I will finish it up and start with the last and the most important yeah maybe not the most important but a pretty important one is adding some effects and adjustments to add climate to a illustration but this step i will explain in another video because it's totally another world of uh, of possibilities that you can uh, have in your drawing so now i have to say goodbye but don't worry the next video will be next saturday so if you liked this video you can give it a thumbs up but if you really really liked this video you can subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications which you can turn on with a button next to subscribe button if i'm right so you will always be up to date with my new videos and and all of that stuff so i'll just hope to see you next week goodbye